Hi, we have released CS Card Multi Vendor 413.1. In this video, I will briefly tell you about the most important changes in the new version. The first and most important change is order fulfillment by marketplace. Previously, if customers ordered products from different vendors, they had to choose and pay for a shipping for each vendor separately. Starting from version 4.13.1 in Multivendor Ultimate, the marketplace can take care of shipping for vendors. In this case, all the shipping costs will go to the marketplace account and customers will only have to choose one shipping method and pay for it. This functionality is a part of an add-on called Order Fulfillment by Marketplace. When enabled, it adds an extra setting to vendor plans. This setting defines if vendors use their own shipping methods or the shipping methods of the marketplace. The marketplace payment methods, such as PayPal Commerce Platform and Stripe Connect, got a big improvement in the new version. These payment methods now allow you to delay transfer of funds to vendors. This functionality can help marketplace owners make sure that everything is ok before they transfer the money for these orders to vendors. When a transfer is delayed, the transfer funds to vendor button will appear on each order with this payment method. You can use the button, but also the settings of these payment methods now have a cron command. If you add it to cron and run it regularly, money for orders will be transferred to vendors automatically if an order is old enough. The next important change in 4.13.1 is access to vendor panel. Prior to version 4.13.1, all vendors got the new status after they registered. With that status, vendors didn't appear on the marketplace storefront and couldn't even access their vendor panel until the administrator approved them. Now a new setting in the vendor data pre-moderation add-on is responsible for the access of new vendors to the store. If the approval of newly created vendors isn't required, then they can start selling right away. If the approval is required, then new vendors will get access to the vendor panel but their products won't appear on the storefront until an administrator sets their status to active. In future versions, we are planning to continue working on vendor onboarding. You'll be able to choose whether to create a vendor account and give access to vendor panel immediately or after approval. Another huge change is the redesigned list of add-ons. In version 4.13.1, we updated the page with list of add-ons. Now, thanks to improved search filters and list of favorite add-ons, it is easier to find the add-on you need. And the list of menu items that are introduced by the add-on allows you to easier understand how the add-on works. The next important feature is updated product reviews. Previously, the comments and reviews add-on handled all the reviews in the marketplace. Starting with the version 4.13.1, we have an add-on specifically for product reviews. You can import all your existing product reviews to the new add-on. Now customers can describe product advantages and disadvantages, add images and vote for the most useful reviews. Administrators and vendors can comment on reviews and those comments will appear for others to see. There is also news for those who are just starting their own marketplace. In the new version, we added Store Setup Wizard. When you configure a multi-vendor marketplace for the first time, the number of things to do can get intimidating at first. The Store Setup Wizard is the tool that can help you set up your marketplace in several steps and start working immediately. In version 4.13.1, we finished integrating the context menu. It first appeared on the list of products, then we spread it to orders, users, and so on. Now all the lists of objects in CS card and multi-vendor have the context menu. It is more convenient for mobile devices and makes it clearer what actions you can perform on items in bulk. These are the main features in the new multi-vendor version. 
We usually describe the important features of each new version in the blog. The full list of changes is covered by the change log in the documentation. Thanks for watching. See you next time.